Hey everyone, welcome to week three. We're nearly halfway there. This week, things do get a little bit more challenging as we have a dedicated upper body and lower body day. So stay tuned and have a look at some of the new progressions that we have in store for you this week. Okay, so with weeks three to six, we're gonna be adding in an extra strengthening day. So we're gonna be breaking up into three days. One of those is gonna have a leg focus. The next is gonna have an upper body focus. And then lastly, it's gonna look similar to what we have been doing, where we're focusing on all body parts. Now with the program itself, I apologize in advance for today because we're breaking it down in this fashion. Uh, the video is a little bit longer as we go through the new exercises. So here we have our leg and core focus day. The idea of this is to improve the strength and size of our leg and trunk muscles to help improve your performance on the court and reduce, reduce the risk of getting tendon injuries and strains to those muscles. Remember beforehand to do that proper warm up that we showed in week one. All right, so our first of our leg and core exercises is gonna be the lunge, just with body weight, so no extra resistance. What's gonna demonstrate, it's gonna be a reverse lunge. So we're stepping backwards as we do it and alternating legs each time. So same sort of thing as the Bulgarian split squat, very similar technique, alternating between each side. So we're gonna go for 20 reps, uh, 10 each side all up. Alrighty, so next up we have the Nordic curl. So this is a brilliant exercise for your hamstrings and in some studies they've shown that it's reduced the risk of uh, a hamstring strain by about 50%. So it can be really effective if you've done well. So with this exercise, you're gonna need a partner ideally or um, if you have access to a lounge where there's a bit of a height where you can slip your feet in uh, or a chair, something like that, where there's gonna be a bit of weight to, to hold you down, that will work as well. So you're gonna have your partner hold onto your ankles and they're gonna have to put a fair amount of pressure onto it. I'll get you to have your hands on your hips lock and he's going to slowly drop down using the hamstrings to control you. That's it. Good. So with this exercise we're only going to be doing five reps because it is quite challenging and then have a decent rest break between you know, before going again. Alrighty so next up we have the reverse naughty curl. So as the name implies it's the opposite of a, what we just did. So Lot's going to have his hands across his chest. We're going to try and keep our torso nice and straight so not trying to, to bend out our hip and he's just going to be slowly controlling his body weight as he goes backwards. That's it and then coming back to the front. So again this is another challenging exercise so we're not going to be doing too many reps of this. You should be feeling it through your quads so it's going to help reduce the, the risk of getting a quad strain. So give that a go and we'll see you on the next exercise. Okay, so next up we have the straight knee calf raise. So this is just working our other calf muscle, our gastrocnemius, which sits up a bit higher. So it looks going to show us, show it for us. So coming up onto the balls of our feet and then slowly back down. Just taking our time using our calf muscles to control our weight as we come back onto our heels. So we're going to try for 20 reps of this exercise. Um, and we're still going to be doing the bent knee calf raise as well, but I think it's a good, a good idea to incorporate both of them into the program. Okay, so next up we have a core exercise called the dead bug, which is a really good exercise. So what we're going to do with this one, the idea of it is to maintain what's called a posterior pelvic tilt. So if you imagine you're wearing a belt, you want to bring your belt towards your belly button. So Locke's going to assume that position, so have your hands behind your lower back can help, and you want to be pushing your lower back into your hands, doing that posterior pelvic tilt. That looks good lock and then you're just going to have your legs up into the air and what you're going to be doing maintaining that position at your lower back slowly lowering one leg at a time to the ground that's it and then the other leg so you should be feeling all your core muscles engage as you do this and we're just going to be trying to maintain as we go through the set and fatigue so we're going to go for 10 reps on each side if we can our fourth exercise cluster is going to begin with some bent knee calf raises. So compared to last week, we'll just be increasing the repetitions to 25 each leg. Okay, now next core exercise is the Russian twist. So you might have seen this one before, but just to demonstrate for you all, Lachlan's going to assume the position. So just a slight lean back in your lower back and legs in the air and rotating side to side. So we're going to try for 10 repetitions on, on each side. And here are our upper body exercises for week three. We're gonna be doing this two days after completing the lower body workout. Remember with this one to include that warm up beforehand before getting into it. So our upper body progression is doing an overhead press using the weight. So Locke's gonna demonstrate for us having a slight bend in his knees, nice wide base support, pushing the bag up over his head and slowly back down. So this is a really good exercise for your shoulders. 
Alrighty, so next up we have the clap push-up. So again, another challenging push-up progression. Uh, as the name implies, we're doing a clap in between each repetition of our push-up to improve more of our explosive ability, which will be able to help with our, our passing. So Locke's gonna demonstrate for us. Rumor has it in the last dance that Dennis Rodman did 100 of these uh, after his Vegas trip. It was uh, some behind the scenes footage, but some uh, excellent demonstration here by Lachlan. It is challenging, so we're gonna try it for 15 reps if we can. Trying to avoid dipping too much into our lower back. Locke's a bit fatigued at this point, so um, we wanna try and maintain that good position of our, of our back as we're doing it. If you start to break down your form like Lock did, I'd recommend reducing the amount of reps where you're able to perform it correctly, and as you get stronger, you'll be able to do more. Alrighty, so next up we have a, a bag weighted bicep curl. So that bag we used earlier with a couple of those chemistry books, we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. When you do this, I want you to focus on doing it in an arcing fashion, so having that sort of circular motion of your hands as you're coming up. So obviously it's gonna be working with bicep uh, mass and, and strength and help it, um, improve your overall upper body uh, mass and size. Alrighty, so next up we have the bag weighted uh, bent over row. So this is a back dominant exercise. Locke's gonna show it for us. So we're gonna be trying to maintain a neutral spine as we do it, our, a, a bit of a slack through our knees and our hips, and we're gonna bring, bring the bag to our belly button. That's it, and slowly controlling it on the way to the floor. Good. So we're gonna try for 10 repetitions of these to start with um, and having a rest break in between each set. So the next exercise we're gonna be doing is a, a, a box dip. Uh, you can use a chair or a lounge uh, if you don't have one at home. So Locke's gonna show us. We're gonna have our legs out straight. Maybe have your hands across the top of the bench, that's it, yeah. And then slowly dipping your, that's it, your body towards the ground, bending out your elbow. Perfect. So obviously this is working our tricep muscles, again, to try and add some bulk to our upper body. Alrighty, so next up we have an optional exercise. You have access to a chin-up bar or a park can, can work where you have uh, the monkey bar equipment you can use. Uh, Locke's gonna demonstrate here. We have a, a power band set up here to assist him. We're just gonna be doing um, some, some pull-ups as the name implies, trying to keep uh, the tension through our arms and our back. Going nice and controlled as we do it. Okay, and our last strengthening day is gonna be the familiar full body workout that we have been performing. We're just making a few tweaks just to make it challenging and apply that principle of progressive overload. Alrighty, so next up we have the Bulgarian split squat. This time we're gonna add some weight. So it's using, similar to before, that backpack with some books loaded up into it. Um, and we're gonna try doing the Bulgarian split, split squat in that fashion. So same technique, really important as we add weight that our technique remains on point. So like just show us that's it. Nice and slow and controlled, getting that good uh, depth, bending at your knees and your hips, whilst keeping that torso upright. Perfect job, mate. Alrighty, so next up with our push-ups, we're gonna progress them and make them a bit more challenging by adding some load. Um, and the best way I think to do that if you don't have access to weights is with a backpack and some books. So some nice chemistry textbooks work quite well. So just loading them up into the backpack. Make sure you zip it up. Otherwise that's a recipe for disaster. So what's gonna pop that on? A bit heavy. Yeah, that, it'll be good. So we're gonna be doing those push-ups again. So last week we would have progressed 25 reps. With the low, we're gonna try maybe for 15 repetitions if you can. So same sort of technique, working on that nice control, doing it nice and slow and going all the way down. Alrighty, so we have our hamstring bridge now. We're gonna progress it to a single leg variation. So Locke's gonna demonstrate that lock top leg is gonna be up on the bench. The other leg's just gonna be hovering. Try and keep your legs in a uh, even fashion. Again, just lifting the hips up to the ceiling. So for this one, instead of doing the 20 reps like last week, because they're on both legs, we're just gonna be doing 10 on each side. So supersetting our single leg hamstring bridges, we're gonna be doing our side planks on the toes again. This time we're progressing the duration of our hold to 45 seconds. Following the side planks, our next exercise cluster is gonna be the wall body weighted rows. We're gonna be doing 20 reps of that, progressing the amount of repetitions for that. Supersetting the body weighted rows, we're gonna be doing our front planks again. So another core exercise, progressing the duration of our holds to two minutes.
Okay, so back again with the old trusty backpack to add some weight to the bed knee calf raises this time around. Lock just to reiterate things for everyone listening. We're gonna have that nice 20 to 30 degree of knee bend happening, coming up onto the balls of our, our feet, targeting that soleus muscle. So as we've added this weight, we're just gonna make sure that technique stays on point. We're just gonna go for 15 reps on each leg for this one. So here we have our stability and plyometric exercises for week three. We have four brand new exercises. They're gonna be nice and tricky and put a good amount of demand on our stabilizing muscles as well as improving our explosiveness. All right, so next up we have a stability exercise using a TheraBand. Hopefully you have one at home. If you don't, uh, we have them here if you'd like uh, or you know your local physiotherapy practice. Um, if, if you don't have a pole that you can tie it onto, if you tie a knot in it, you can close the door at that level that you want and that will work well. So what Locke's gonna be doing is having his hands, his arms straight. He's gonna be standing on one leg, a slight bend in your knee, that's it. And you're gonna be rotating your trunk out and then slowly controlling your weight in. So this is a really challenging exercise for your ankle muscles uh, that help control uh, the stability of your ankle. So we can get these stronger, it's gonna reduce the likelihood of you rolling your ankle um, you be coming down after a layup or a dunk and then um, getting injured that way. So we're going to try for 10 on each side. So if you go the other way lock, we're just going to be working the other other muscle of the uh, of the leg as, as we do that. Alrighty, the next exercise we're going to be doing is a plyometric exercise. So this is going to be helping uh, with your explosiveness, your ability to uh, produce force quickly. So Locke's going to be demonstrating a broad jump and stick. So he's going to be trying to jump as far as he can and then stick the landing with some good control. That's it, perfect. So it's going to be going back and forth, doing just five reps of this. Okay, so next up we're going to be doing some multi-directional hops or square hop drill as I like to call it. So you're just going to, if you don't have square tiled carpet like we do, just imagine four points of a square and they're gonna be the, the points that you're gonna be landing. So that's gonna show us here. That's it, so jumping forward to the side, but sticking it please, backwards and then to the other side. So that's one rep around one time. You're gonna be doing five of those on each side. Okay, so next up we have a, a single leg hop for distance. So we're just gonna be hopping as far as we can on one leg. It's another plyo exercise to try and help with that explosiveness. So like we'll demonstrate, that's it. Trying to stick the landing is not uh, the number one priority of this exercise. The idea is to improve that explosiveness. So not such a big deal, but if you can stick the landing, it's gonna help with that stability. Well done guys, you made it to the end of week three. I think it's definitely got a little bit more challenging there. Um, hopefully you guys are starting to notice some improvements and seeing some results. If you haven't done any of these exercises before, don't feel like you need to progress every week. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer before you see a progression. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it and stay tuned for next week's progression.